Hello everybody, it's Alex here and as always on Friday at this time we are hosting on the Aurora official YouTube channel the Friday Alpha League session. During this live YouTube stream we are sharing the information about the Aurora ecosystem, what is happening here uh, with all of you who has joined us uh, today. Um, as always, noting to everybody that this is a live stream which means that you are able to comment uh, directly in here in the YouTube and we and I will try to, to answer all of your questions. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into the news. Um, the official Aurora um, Twitter uh, has published a, an in-depth thread about the Aurora Cloud, uh, highlighting many aspects of the Aurora Cloud. So for everyone who is interested in this, uh, uh, since Aurora Cloud is just the latest development uh, of the Aurora Labs, uh, we highly encourage you to take a look into it. There are quite a lot of information there. Also, besides that, there is a, um, a, a separate website that you're able to see about Aurora Cloud, and it is just auroracloud.dev. On this website, you are able to find all the same information, but in a little bit more detail. And also you are able to use the demo of the Aurora Cloud of the silo that is deployed on top of Aurora. By the way, in this demo, there are some additional functionality that is uh, that is shown to everybody, including the permissioned access to the silo or to the container, including the Borealis business infrastructure and some other stuff. So quite a lot of cool stuff. I, I highly encourage everybody to uh, to look at this and uh, try to uh, kind of understand how this thing is working. And well, who knows, maybe perhaps this is something that is required for your own business. Uh, for techies at the same time, I would like to recommend going to dev.aurora.dev, our developer portal. And uh, you're able to find in the dev feed, uh, well, besides on this developer portal, there are quite a lot of information, right? Uh, there is documentation and other things and just a list of the ecosystem tools. But besides, besides that, there is a dev feed. And a dev feed is a set of articles that is written by engineers, for engineers, speaking engineering language. And one of the, one of the important things for the, um, for the Aurora Cloud, uh, the technology that enables it, is the cross ecosystem communications, right? The cross cross contract calls. Uh, this this topic is uh, um, is covered in many different p different uh, uh, articles here, including this one, Aurora Silo walkthrough, and also building a game using Near Aurora and Boss. This is the latest uh, 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 the latest article that was published published on fifth of May by Michael Birch. I highly recommend or everyone who is technical to go through this because this article unites many different pieces of, of the near ecosystem. It unites Aurora as the EVM compatible execution environment. It unites near as, as a blockchain with, with another, uh, with another uh, virtual machine and also boss, which is the place for the decentralized front end. The combination of these technologies that is depicted in this particular article is extremely powerful and we already got quite a lot of extremely positive feedback of the developers who were saying we even do not didn't know that something like this can happen so again if you're seeking for inspiration to build something this article might be a place for you to seek for it now coming back to the news um, Aurora Hunters is counting the applications that are running on top of Aurora and that are listed on DepRadar and I congratulate the whole Aurora ecosystem with another milestone. We have a hundred applications that are running on Aurora, so congrats everybody. And actually we do see that in all of these applications there is a, there is gradual increase of the activity in terms of the um, active users. Uh, uh, Motodex and uh, with OpenBC is just uh, skyrocketing. Motodex just several days ago 
got to uh, 10,000 monthly active users and now they are pretty close to 20k. So super cool. OpenBC, uh, the NFT marketplace where uh, the Motodex uh, NFTs are listed. Uh, so obviously it goes in, in, hand in hand with Motodex. But besides that, also community um, applications and community games like Aurora 2048, Wordle and others are uh, getting getting traction. So pretty cool to see this uptick in uh, in the activity, especially especially uh, because the market is not very good. And uh, I really feel sorry for everybody who are invested in cryptocurrencies in general. Um, so uh, I feel your pain. But the thing that is uh, that is most fascinating for me personally is is the technology, and that's why we have. Um, and that's why I'm the CEO of a technology company, right, <laughs> or the developer company. So, um, so yeah. But uh, this, in general, activity, this increased activity, increased, uh, um, increased eyes. The number of eyes that are looking at Aurora ecosystem uh, is absolutely great. So, um, continuing with uh, the Aurora Labs news um, uh, devoted to our goal of uh, sharing more information about the people who are working in our company uh, we have published a another article within our meet the team series and this is the article about matt henderson the person uh, whom you have seen um, for example in the last year's uh, aurora plus launch video uh, Matt is an extremely talented person uh, with deep understanding and knowledge of, uh, of, uh, of front-end product design and product development. Uh, I'm super del delighted that I'm able to work with him. And uh, if you would like to read a little bit more about Matt, about his life story, well then, this uh, article is available on the aurora.dev slash blog. And this is the, the official Aurora blog. Moving on and continuing with the contribution of Matt, Crypto News has been publishing a pretty in-depth interview with Matt about blockchain and cloud computing. So the concept of Aurora Cloud, well, like, like there is a reasoning behind naming Aurora Cloud, Aurora Cloud, right? Uh, and uh, the idea there is pretty simple. Within the Aurora Cloud uh, setup, uh, the core piece of the infrastructure is Aurora Silos, which is a container uh, for, for EVM compatible chain. And uh, a silo offers to uh, the customer uh, a, some kind of amount of computation that is available to him. Uh, but this computation is happening in a decentralized network, right? Because Aurora Silos are working on top of NIR. Now, this absolutely same concept is uh, working inside of the just ordinary cloud computing when a customer of a cloud computing service is working or is buying a compute power uh, from the centralized uh, provisory, right? So so the, the concept is quite the same. And from that standpoint, um, uh, Crypto.News were reaching out uh, to us to, to check on uh, how these two pieces, the cloud computing itself and the blockchain, are able to work together. So take, please take a look at this pretty deep interview. Uh, there are uh, lots of interesting point. There are lots of interesting points that uh, that Matt was touching on, and uh, uh, there is uh, quite a lot of strategic thinking in in this thing. Um, I believe for many people who are not. Um, so this this article and this interview is not uh, tech intense, right? Uh, it is uh, suited for everybody, for general audience. So you are able to get into the details of the reasoning behind Aurora Cloud uh, from this particular article. Moving on to other um, uh, projects um, that are working on top of uh, Aurora, Beefy Finance uh, was, uh, was just within this week was publishing some uh, information about the different uh, earning opportunities um, and inside of their solution, right? So just reminding everyone that Beefy has been working on Aurora for, I don't know, probably already around more than a year, actually. 
I think they, they, they are working on top of Aurora for more than a year. Is this something that we are able to find? Uh, to find uh, in the operator? Maybe, maybe even so. Well, check out for how long Beefy is working on Aurora and then share it um, in, in the comments to the stream uh, or in Twitter. Uh, and let's let's congratulate uh, sorry and let's con sorry let's congratulate Biffy with uh, with this uh, this pretty long uh, uh, story. So they are continuing and they are keeping uh, keeping the the fire uh, big. Um, and uh, during this week they were reminding about some um, uh, additional opportunities um, uh, for optimization of the yield inside of the Aurora network. So everyone who is into the DeFi. Uh, please check out Bifim. Perhaps uh, there are some 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 good opportunities for you there. This is not the financial advice. I'm just keeping you posted on everything that is happening uh, in the Aurora ecosystem. Another thing uh, that we have for the whole ecosystem uh, after this week is the integration of Aurora network with Omnia. And Omnia is a pretty well-known RPC node provider. And uh, uh, this initiative is obviously uh, uh, puts an additional weight into the bucket of decentralizing um, Aurora and decentralizing everything that is connected with it. Through more RPC node providers, we are able to have more uh, independent entities who are uh, who are enablers of the Aurora network, or the entities who are uh, delivering the um, the access to the blockchain to the Aurora blockchain to everybody else. So. Again, for everybody who is building on Aurora, I encourage you to uh, to have multiple failover systems uh, that are using multiple RPC node providers just to make sure that uh, your servers are always getting the correct data. For everybody who is using Aurora, uh, obviously Aurora public RPC that is provided, mainnet.aurora.dev is there. But just in case something is wrong, something is not working as you expect, or you are not able to get information from the mainnet RPC, uh, please remember that there are quite a lot of RPC providers available and you are always able to get the access uh, to, to anything that is stored uh, on the blockchain in your account. Uh, I'm on yeah, and uh, in case you're willing to know which RPC providers are uh, available at Aurora Network, uh, you are able to go to aurora.dev slash ecosystem. And then here you're able to seek for the infrastructure or utilities, sorry. And here you're able to find... Hmm... Storage Explorers, Cross Chain and Bridges. No. If we go to Utilities, Indexer, KYC, Payments, Oracles, Data, Dev Tooling. So here, here is Omnia, which is in the Dev Tooling, right? Uh, so perhaps perhaps something should be updated here, right? Um, Omnia is here, which is good, but but there are also some some additional additional um, applications that are available here. So yeah, well, probably probably we like we need to put on the website an additional category here. But anyway, there are tons of uh, tons of other providers. Infura, uh, Infura is working with Aurora. Um, uh, Omnia is working with Aurora, and then uh, uh, what else? Uh, API three is working with Aurora. So uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, alternative providers. And by the way, just in case anyone missed this, the uh, the code for the RPC server is fully open source and available on Aurora is near GitHub account. Okay, moving on with a different, uh, a different news. Uh, the head of security of Aurora, Alexei, has been joining Hacking Club for, uh, for a conversation about 
on-chain access management. So he was sharing some information about uh, some lessons learned from, from how Aurora operates. There are quite a lot of uh, information in, in this uh, hour-long uh, AMA session. Um, for everybody who is interested in security, I do believe that you are able to find quite a lot of insightful things in this conversation. For everybody who has missed uh, consensus, um, uh, there is a recording of my talk um, on the consensus uh, uh, that was in Austin a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I have been talking about the Aurora Cloud and uh, it being a blockchain for the real world applications. In general, for everybody who knows uh, Aurora Cloud and how it works, uh, in this talk, there, there are not a lot of new information, uh, but for everybody else, or in case you have been looking for a, a short video, uh, which you are able to share with your friends who are asking about Aurora Cloud, I know you have them a lot, um, or there are a lot of them. <laughs> um, so you are able to send the link to this video, right? It is located on the Aurora channel. So please find it super simple. Layer 3 has launched a quest um, uh, for, for the Aurora network. And in general, Layer 3 has integrated with the Aurora network. So we expect that quite a lot of different quests and opportunities to learn more about, uh, about the Aurora ecosystem are going to, to be presented in this platform. So check it out. Uh, this quest is, is featuring Bungie and Holder. So uh, you're able to take a look at this. Uh, block Split Conference, right? The conference that is holding Croatian City Split. Uh, in this year, it's going to have a pretty vast set of uh, people who are working for Aurora Labs. And among them is Anton, who is the head of integrations at Aurora Labs. So please, in case you, you have been looking for a place to meet the team, uh, Block Split is the conference where you are able to find many of us. And uh, uh, last but not least, uh, uh, today, a little bit later, uh, in several hours, uh, we are going to have the uh, Crypto Report Roundtable. Uh, with because Bitcoin. So this is going to be an AMA session. We are going to talk about uh, different things around uh, Aurora, about layer two developments and other stuff. Um, so in case you're into podcasts and in case you're into AMAs, uh, please come and join and uh, maybe we'll find something interesting for you today. So with that, it's probably everything that I wanted to share with you this week in terms of the news. There are still quite a lot of them. Uh, so let me check the, um, the, the questions in the, uh, in, uh, in the YouTube stream. Okay, um, so two, like I see a couple of questions. So first one is, Oh yeah, Slava. Slava, thanks for reminding that chain stack is is available, right? So, uh, do you already have businesses that are interested in working with Aurora Cloud? Uh, yeah, in fact, we have a pretty large uh, pipeline. We have uh, clients that are that are signed with us, uh, paying clients, right, for for this uh, solution, and uh, uh, we're going to share the information a little bit closer to the uh, closer to the actual release dates. However, the, uh, the people who are interested in investigating things on chain, these people have probably already seen that there are multiple Aurora Cloud silos that are deployed and they are waiting for the full setup. Um, now, another question is uh, uh, Aurora Token Economy uh, version 2 and uh, 
big thanks, by the way, big thanks to all of the community for following uh, these conversations. Uh, big thanks to, to go in there, taking a look at the economy, leaving your comments. Uh, uh, mostly it was uh, pretty positive comments on the update. Uh, there were some negative uh, reaction too. Uh, hopefully we have been discussing and going through this and um, kind of making sure that uh, everybody is comfortable with the update. So this discussion was a pretty good uh, test uh, before putting it um, in front of the DAO uh, for voting. Uh, and uh, as of yesterday, the uh, the proposal was uh, was sent to the DAO, and now the DAO members um, should should vote on this. Um, Aurora Labs has already voted, um, and um, since we are we are proposing, we are uh, we are supporting this uh, this initiative. So now waiting for another uh, DAO members to vote. The information about the update of the token economy, the proposed update of the token economy, was shared with them. Uh, beforehand. So hopefully this uh, is going to happen pretty quick. So let's see how it is going to go. Um, in the ideal scenario, the voting should happen again, if there are no, no problems with this uh, from the from the side of, of other now members. So uh, so the stream rewards for Aurora's taken can be kept as is uh, after after 18th of May. <clears throat> Okay, so there are quite a lot of questions about the, the voting stuff. Lots of people from Brazil. Uh, big, uh, uh, big bon dia to people um, from, uh, from our Latam community, especially from Brazil. Um, okay, and it seems like that's it. So thanks everyone for joining us today uh, on this Friday Alpha Lake sessions. As always, we are go we are holding this every Friday, and uh, we are going to see each other in exactly one week from now on the next Friday Alpha Lake sessions on Aurora YouTube channel. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs>